But boy, the devil doesn't like this idea that God created the earth. The devil came to Eve in the Garden of Eden. The first thing he said to the woman, he said, Eve, hath God said? Yea, hath God said? He's, tr he's, he's trying to raise doubts about God's Word. Satan always tries to raise doubts about God's Word. That's one of the reasons we've got all this confusion on the different Bible versions. You know, where is God's Word? Is it over here? I don't know where it is. We cover more on that on video 7. The second thing he said to the woman, he said, ye shall not surely die. He's calling God a liar, basically. The third thing he said to Eve is what I want to talk to you about tonight. He said, Eve, if you eat off that tree, ye shall be as God's. And right there is where the whole idea of evolution got started. It didn't start with Charlie Darwin. It started with Satan in the Garden of Eden. He wants you to think you can become a god. Yes, boys and girls, we started like an amoeba, and we're evolving. We're getting bigger and better and stronger and smarter, and someday we're going to sail around the universe and discover new life forms like Star Trek. People ask me all the time, they say, Hovind, do you think there's intelligent life on other planets? I say, nope. I taught high school 15 years. There's not much intelligent life on this planet. <laughs> I didn't get to see a whole lot of it. Satan's a liar. He said, you can be like God. I'll tell you what, the Mormon church has swallowed that. They teach their people, if you're a good Mormon, when you go to heaven, you get to become God. And if you're a good Mormon wife, when you go to heaven, you get to be eternally pregnant, producing spirit babies. My wife don't want to go. She said, that's not heaven. <laughs> By the way, there are some great books to reach Mormons and a good website, utlm, utahlighthousemission.org. If you want to reach Mormons, you ought to study that one. I was surprised to find out a couple years ago, some of the major Catholic theologians of the past have taught man can become God. It's still in their catechism right now. Now, most Catholics don't believe that, and they don't even realize some of their leaders have taught that. But even Kenneth Copeland said, Adam in the Garden of Eden was God manifest in the flesh. He said, you don't have a God in you. You are one. I'm sorry, Kenneth. You're crazy about that, okay? Kenneth Hagin said, the believer is called Christ. That's who we are. We're Christ. No, you're crazy. The job's not available, and you couldn't do it if you had it, okay? You're not God, right? Nor are you Christ. Walk on water sometime. I want to see that. Lucifer is the one who wants to be God. Lucifer said, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. See, Satan wants to be God, but the job's not available, so he's all upset about that, and he can't be God. So he lied to Eve and told her she could be like God. Now, Satan hates us, though, because we're made in God's image. And boy, Eve fell for that hook, line, and sinker. Wow, I get to be God. Now Hitler said, if you tell a lie long enough and loud enough and often enough, the people will believe it. He said they're more likely to believe a big lie than a small one. 